a perfectly good ceramic floor tile. And here's a great way to break it. Cover it with a towel so that you don't have shards flying around and smack it with a hammer. Why would we want to break a perfectly good floor tile? Because what I want to do today is show you how to make your own decorative stepping stones for your landscape out of an ordinary concrete stepping stone and some broken floor tiles. Ceramic floor tiles come in different thicknesses and you should try to work with one thickness of tile. It'll make assembling it and putting it all together much simpler. Also, remember that the surface of each one of these pieces has to be about the same. You're going to be walking on this later, and it saves a lot of time and effort if the stones are all the same thickness to begin with. And once you've got your pattern laid out, it's time to start making a thin set mortar mix. It's actually called that, thin set mortar. And we want to make it the consistency of something like runny peanut butter, a little too soft. And we want to trowel an even quarter to one half inch layer of that onto the stepping stone we're going to be working with. That stone, by the way, should be pre-moistened. Soak it in a bucket of water or something for a couple of hours before proceeding to this step. The thin set mortar mix is a dry powder. and We want to mix enough that we get that just right consistency. Once we've got it mixed to about the right consistency, we want to trowel it onto our pre-moistened stepping stone. And this is something like icing a cake, a thing that I frankly have never done. But I've seen it done plenty of times, and I've certainly enjoyed the results. We want to get a nice even layer, about a quarter to a half inch thick, over the entire surface of the stepping stone. Now once we've got a sufficient amount of the mortar on there and kind of spread out with our ordinary trowel, we go to using what's called a notched trowel. And this will help us spread it out in an even thickness over the entire stone. Now once we've spread the thin set mortar mix out into an even layer, it's time to transfer our pattern to the mortar mix. And do it one stone at a time. And again, I'm going to start with the one in the middle. Now it's important when you're putting in the stones that each one is approximately the same height. And a good way to do that is to take anything that's flat and smooth, I'm using a torpedo level, and smooth out and press into place each stone so that the surface of each one is about the same height. Now once we've transferred the tiles and approximately leveled them up, we have to wait 24 to 48 hours for the mortar mix to harden. I have another stone that I put together 48 hours ago so that I could show you the next step. Lay out some newspaper to catch any grout that you mix. Now we've mixed up our grout. Grout won't stick to the smooth surface of the tiles, and it comes in a variety of colors. And since this particular stepping stone has a good deal of white tile in it, I wanted a gray grout. And I'm going to put that right on top of the stones and squeeze it down in between the joints of the stones. Get it as even as you can, and after you've filled all the joints, we're going to do the sides of the stepping stone as well, so that we don't see that original brown color of our stepping stone. Once you've covered the entire stepping stone with grout, take a moist sponge and smooth off the edges. And after about 45 minutes or so, you'll be able to clean the grout off the individual tiles, reveal their true and bright colors. Making these is simple. And in fact, making these stepping stones is a fun family activity. Kids really get a kick out of seeing their own artwork right out there in the great outdoors. Mm -hmm.